Hello everybody, my name is Gabriel, also known as Iron Ninja, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Lego Shang-Chi Escape from the Ten Rings. This is set number 76176 for ages 7 and up with 321 pieces, and this set was released in 2021 for around $30 in the United States where I got it from Walmart. It comes with four mini or five minifigures, if, unless you don't include Morris. I mean, like, who wouldn't include that little guy? What kind of monster wouldn't include him as a minifigure? So that would be five minifigures, two of which are exclusive to the set. This set is based off of the Shang-Chi movie coming out in September, so as of this time recording this video, the movie has not come out yet, and so I don't know most of which I'll be talking about in here. I'll just be talking about the details and stuff. But anyway, let's get into the speed build. So now that I got the set all built up, there's quite a bit to unpack here, so let's move on to the minifigures. Now the first minifigure we're going to be taking a look at is the main figure, uh, or main character of the movie, Shang-Chi. It's literally named after him. And I'm kind of disappointed with this figure, not going to lie. Uh, the only new part for this figure is the torso printing, and everything else is... Uh, not new whatsoever. Uh, the legs are just a common black piece, and then we get this hair piece and some other sets, especially with the new Supermans. And then his face is uh, was used before as Happy Hogan from uh, Spider-Man Homecoming or Spider-Man Far From Home. And honestly, I'm very disappointed with that choice because it does, first of all, Happy Hogan and Shang-Chi are very, very different people. This face doesn't even look like the actor Shang-Chi, and it doesn't even match the skin tone either. And so that's kind of sad. Um, uh, looking on Brick Set, it says this guy is exclusive to the set, but when you look at the other Shang-Chi sets, uh, they don't even have the minifigures listed yet. So this guy comes in three sets, and he's not exclusive. Uh, the Escape from the Ten Rings, the Battle at the Ancient Village, and the Shang-Chi and the Great Protector set. So he does come in three sets, so, that, so he goes for around $7. And uh, looking at the torso print is actually very cool, and I really love the torso print. That's literally the best part of this figure. I can definitely see myself using that in custom minifigures. And then he comes with this chrome gold ring piece as one of the ten rings. And you get three of those in the set. Uh, one of them is actually an extra piece, so technically you get two. But, um... Yeah. Next figure is Katie, and this figure is actually uh, pretty detailed, way more detailed than Shang Chi. And I'm really, I mean, if if they gave Shang Chi leg printing at least, that would be better. But they gave Katie leg printing here, and so it looks like uh, this nice uh, dress, I believe, like a ancient Chinese type of dress. Uh, she comes with this uh, pearl dark gray crossbow weapon, and this is actually based off of the actress Aquafina. So. That's pretty interesting. Uh, she does have an alternate facial expression. I'm not sure if this face is exclusive to the set or not, but uh, uh, this figure, Katie, here is exclusive to the Escape from the Ten Rings set, and so so she also goes for around six dollars, and then she actually has some back torso printing as well. And the next figure is actually not an actual minifigure, it's just a mold for some creature. And this guy is called Morris. And I don't know what this is. I didn't see this guy in the trailer at all. So I can't wait till the movie comes out to see what this guy is all about. Uh, he does come in the other set, the Battle for the Ancient Village set, and the uh, Escape from the Ten Rings. So he's not exclusive, but it doesn't say how much he goes for in Bricklink because he's not really kind of as a minifigure, he's more of a piece. And so it's a new mold. It kind of reminds me of like an elephant with wings, but he doesn't even have printing. Like they didn't even give face printing. I think that is very lazy. Our next figure here is Wenwu or the Mandarin, and this is the bad guy from Chang Chi. 
And this guy actually has quite a bit of detail, but they did get lazy with his face printing again because this is the Lex Luthor face on Wenwu, and it again doesn't match the right skin tone. It needs to be a little darker of a flesh, fleshy color. And then he has this classic combed hair piece, which I actually think fits the character quite well. Uh, he comes with another ring, another chrome gold ring, and has a really nice printing all around especially leg printing which is amazing and I really like the way the figures torso and legs came out just really disappointed with the way they did the face again using the Lex Luthor face that's pretty lazy wait they use this face for Loki as well and that's not that's just <laughs> oh yeah and this guy uh he's also not exclusive he comes in the escape from the ten rings which I'm reviewing right now and the battle at the ancient village set so he goes for around seven dollars as well. Last but not least, we have Razor Fist, and this is another bad guy that works for Wen Wu. And again, uh, just new torso printing. I believe I've seen that face before, and we've definitely gotten the hair and legs before, 100%. Uh, his weapon here is an interesting build. It's just a light gray type of sword piece, and then we get this um, this piece here, where it's my, mainly for superheroes that. Uh, have the power blast pieces but this one is uh in light gray so that's actually pretty cool and that goes on right there so it looks like it's coming out of his hand because his hand matches the color is just very long and then he does have an alternate facial expression uh Wenwu did not i forgot to showcase that he didn't have an alternate face but he does not have an alternate face uh so this guy razor fist is exclusive to the set I'm not really sure about the face printing. I mean, it does kind of match the the actor a bit, but just like the expressions, because he's supposed to be a bad guy, not soup, some smiley, happy guy. Yeah, I guess that fits it. But since this guy is exclusive, he also goes for $7. So almost all these figures go for around 6 to $7. Now moving on to take a look at the builds of the set, we actually have quite a bit here. So we'll start with the biggest one, and this is like some yellowish orange car. It's not an actual yellow piece, because or yellow color, the normal yellow, this is like yellow mixed with orange because it's darker. And so it's pretty decent shaping all around, but it's not anything... Uh, phenomenal. It's just like a basic car. I don't know what model this is representing because we haven't seen the movie yet, so we haven't seen the car in the movie yet. But if you guys uh, can guess uh, what kind of car you think this is, let me know in the comments. I'm not much of a car person, so I have no clue. Uh, on the back, uh, nice shaping with some black curved pieces. And we get this uh, tail flat piece. Uh, stickered license plate. And lots of stickers all around for like scratches and... Uh, marks and ripped up paint and stuff and I actually like the front details there with the blue lights That's pretty cool. You can actually pop the top off and inside you have two seating Places so that way you can see two minifigures So you can put Katie right there in the front you gotta make sure you stick the hands out and then Shang-Chi can go in the back and then there's actually a little bit of a trunk, so you can kind of put, like, maybe Morris in the back. I, d I don't remember seeing that when I first built it, but now, <laughs> oh, that, that's awesome. He fits so perfectly in there. You can get up to, like, three things in here. And you can probably throw in more, like, weapon stuff. And you can put the hood on, and it fits nice and perfect. And it, and it rolls smoothly as well. It's a very smooth roll. They use these stamp pieces here for, like, the little mirrors. That's pretty much it for the car. Next, we got two identical motorcycle builds. They're both exactly the same, except for the stickers on the sides. Uh, one of them is like a turquoise cyan type of blue, and the other one is like a magenta pink. And you can put uh, the figures on there. We got Razor Fist and Wen Wu. I'm going to put Razor Fist on the cyan one, because that's what they showed him on, on the box. So I'm just going to be obeying the set lore actually i'll just put his blade in there and then when Wu can fit on this one as well and so these are actually the bad guy motorcycles because you can tell they have the 10 rings logo right there so that's for the bad guys i wonder i want to try if i can get them to like race up the the wall there come on 
No. Why can't I get this? Oh, there we go. The next build here is a simple weapon rack. We just got two golden sides here, a silver, a flat silver spear, and the silver sword that was introduced in the Ninjago movie line. I don't know what the actual name for this sword is, but in the Ninjago movie game, they call it a Chinese sword. So, yeah. And the next build are these two turret designs. They're both different. Uh, well, not with the legs. The legs are exactly the same. But on the tops, they're different. This one is a spring-loaded missile, and this one is a disc. So if you push on the back here, it shoots a 2x2 two two disc, and push on the bottom here, it shoots a spring-loaded missile. Uh, this one actually has some cool, uh, like, Nexonite pieces, and they got quite a bit of shape and in detail on them. This one actually kind of looks like a crossbow, was the way that's designed. And this one is maybe just like a turret. Just like a normal turret. The box for this set is that long $30 box size. On the back, getting nice, some nice shots of the set. I'm guessing the set takes place at like the part in the movie where uh, Shang-Chi and Wenwu are fighting with the rings, like as we saw in the trailer. Uh, on the front, actually, surprisingly, they don't show the whole set. They don't show you the weapon rack or the other turret. So that's what I thought I was buying when I bought this on the back. There's actually a whole bunch more. The instructions here are normal medium size. On the back you have the wind pirate. And then just an ad for the Avenger mechs. Which is odd. They don't show the other Shang-Chi sets. I don't know why Lego is being very secretive about these Shang-Chi sets. Like they're not supposed to be released yet. They are though because they are in the stores. So overall... I kind of enjoy this set with all the exclusive figures that came with it. Uh, technically, there were only two. But um, all the builds really surprised me. I didn't expect there to be that many. So it's definitely a good play set. And for only $30, that's quite, that's quite a good deal. Uh, the only downside I would have about it is not really with the set itself, but the store I bought it from. I bought it for $30, and I went back a couple days later, and then it was on sale for $22. I'm like, bro, are you kidding me? But yeah, uh, and then the other downsides I would have would be sh uh, the, some of the figures are very lazy, especially Shang-Chi and Wenwu without the leg printing and the facial, or not in the not the facial expressions, but like the, the face printing. I don't know why they couldn't have made new faces for at least those two characters, but yeah, so I'm going to leave this set with like an 8 out of 10. So let me know down in the comments what you would rate this set. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.